all right so this is the kit that i got i have uh the new water pump that i'll be putting on here um you can see that you can see it spins freely which is the main thing we're looking for i have the new tensioner pulley this is where the uh the tensioner actually pushes against this here and keeps the pulley going into the uh, counterclockwise direction. I have the, uh, the tensioner itself, the piston, and I have an idle pulley. Now, the good thing about this is it comes with a pin. You leave the pin in and it, and it keeps the piston in until you have both screws in and you have the belt where you want want it and then you can pull the pin out and then it would uh when once everything is in place you pull the pin out it'll basically set itself and it's you know you don't have to fight with it sometimes you get them when they're already out and you have to fight with it then get them to, to go back in so this is a good design right here with the pin in it, inside of it and over here we have the gasket uh, which is my favorite type it's a o-ring gasket so you know you see the groove right there it fits in smoothly I don't have to put any kind of uh, adhesive or anything in there um, you know paper gaskets they're uh, they're kind of tricky they say that you don't have to put anything on there but I always put something um, RTV or something with a uh, paper gaskets but with this o-ring I shouldn't have to uh, put anything else and um, of course I have the new belt um, later on I'll go ahead and make my markings uh, transfer from the old belt and then we'll be able to uh, get the timing back together okay so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get that that water pump out of there but um, first I have to remove this pulley here that pulley is basically connected to the water pump right here um, so that has to come off anyway so we have a new one to go on so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and remove this pulley here as well um, they both look like you know uh, 14 maybe 13 millimeters uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get those two off and we'll be right back. And over here, we have the uh, tensioner pulley, the new and old. So um, in the old one, there's a sleeve. So we have to make sure we get that out and just easily pop that into the new one. Turn it over on the back side and just uh, clean it out. Make sure it's nice and clean get a rag if you need to uh clean the inside if you need to i can see mine is pretty much clean right now and just go ahead and drop that in there and now that is ready to go set the old one to the side so these are my new parts ready to be put back on just like that Now, a rule of thumb that I use for getting out any part when I have the uh, replacement part in the hand is I like to look at the new part and find out where all my bolt holes are. That way, I already know what to expect when I get down here. And you can see the pulley. This pulley here is black. It's the same pulley as right here. And if you can find that, then you can identify where the bolts are, you know, um, just by where the location of the pulley is. So I can tell that these two bolts here are these two right here. So if you start there, you can work your way around and you can find 
the other bolts so you have yeah i think there's a total of five it looks like you have uh three on this side one two three and two on this side um these holes here these these big holes are if i'm not mistaken where your um where your mount is going to be so we're not going to worry about anything going in those once your mount goes on and you tighten those bolts down then that will put force on and hold that gasket in place and hold that water pump in place so we're only worried about these five right now so if you can see down here the other three we have let's see if we can get deep in there we have one here one here and one here so that's one two three four and five so if we get those five uh small bolts out um studs then we pretty much could pull that water pump off and get to cleaning all right guys um i got all of the uh all five of the studs out of the uh, water pump and i'm beneath the car now and you can see that the holes are, are empty pretty much right there so of course because it's been sitting there so long it's pretty much stuck on there so what i'm going to do is pry from underneath you have a couple of spots i can pry from uh, let me cut this light on real quick like for instance you have uh this spot right here you can take a screwdriver and matter of fact let me uh show you on the, the new part what it looks like Shoot, matter of fact where is this all right this little little gap right here on the bottom that's where i'm gonna put the uh my flathead i got a little sturdy flathead right here i'm gonna go ahead and put it there and pry up and that should get that um that old part to start to lift um if you break it of course it's not going to be a problem you know it's the old part we're getting rid of that anyways so here we go Those are coolant. I have my container down here. Probably should have told you to uh, put a container down there, but hopefully you watch the video before you actually do it, and you know. So there goes the coolant, or what's really just distilled water. So realistically, I can let this drip if I want to, but you know, I'm going to catch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to prying. I guess I can't catch all of this since my jacket is sitting right there, but all right. So prying, I'm prying. And now that it's opening up, I can pry in some other areas. Let's try going on top. Now that it's a little bit lifted, it's... all right. Okay, so it's pretty much um, getting ready to pop off. I don't want it to just fall freely and damage anything, so I'm going to need two hands for this. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the old one out, and we have the new one sitting over here. You can pretty much see where it was leaking. Uh, let me see here. It's light. You can see all this uh, build up here in this corner, and you probably can't tell as much, but the uh, the gasket area is let's see a lot worn versus let's say over here where it's a lot more smooth. You know, you see how smooth that looks compared to when you get over here. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot more rigid and also 
right over here so it was actually leaking from two areas so we're gonna go ahead and uh fit our new gasket inside of the uh the new water pump and then we're going to clean the area around where the old water pump was we're gonna have to make sure we clean all that out and especially that surface we're gonna get we're gonna get all these surfaces Let's see if i can get down in here i'm gonna get all these surfaces here clean those are the maiden surfaces they're basically going to make with these surfaces here so once we get all that cleaned up we can put our our o-ring our new o-ring that is we'll grab that now we can go ahead and pop our new o-ring on They have these little tabs right here, which is awesome because it helps it to hold it in place. That way it doesn't fall out of place while you're fitting it in. And then you tighten the bolts and then it kinks it. Next thing you know, you have a leak in the damaged gasket. So make sure it's nice and pressed. Nice and pressed. All right, and we do a little exercise, turn it upside down, make sure it's not going to fall out. And it's still, it's still in there, it's still nice and pressed in, so we should be good there. Just in case, press it in one more time. All right, so now I can go ahead and uh, set the old part to the side. Just in case we have to come back to that later for some reason. All right, now it's time for me to get the cleaning and I'll come back and get a closer look in here for you and show you how it looks when it's all clean. All right, I have it um, all clean how I want it. Um, what I did was I basically use a razor to get all of the, uh, the harder uh, compo composites off. And then I use sandpaper, 1000 grit, to get off any burrs or any scratches that the that the uh, the blade may have made. And then I used a little Scotch Brite um, just to clean it up a little bit extra. So now everything is nice and just as shiny as it's gonna get all my gasket mating areas. So I'm basically ready to uh, throw my new water pump on now and the best thing about this car is once my water pump is on because i didn't have to take off any of my coolant hoses i can use my radiator testing kit and i can test to make sure that it holds before i put my timing belt on that way it, if it leaks i don't have to do my timing twice i can just take care of the problem and then move on from there all right i got the new water pump in you can see the uh, pulley right there um basically when i got it in i just uh I, I hand tightened all five of the studs and then um i got them snug not tight just snug and then i started with the uh the one closest to center to get a little pressure down um i didn't tighten it that much i just put a little bit of pressure down just to squeeze it down and then i went to uh sec the second closest to center and then i pretty much you know worked my way out and then um after everything was pretty much a little bit snug i went around again and i snugged them some more just you know you can just do it to feel then go just do the same pattern until you got it down just please make sure you don't overdo it um, i mean i know that 
this is a this is pretty much just a bad gasket but the, this might actually be still good but um you know don't break don't break any of these especially this part right here you know trying to uh over twerk it so if you have to use a torque wrench if you don't have the feel for it uh, i recommend you do that just look up the uh manufacturer recommended specs online if you have to do that but i have my new one in so my next step is to put on my put my tensioner back on and then i will put my idler pulley on then i'll have to go and make my uh timing marks on my new belt then i'll be able to put the new belt on and if you're wondering why uh this pulley here this is the uh power steering pulley if you're wondering why that's not on i took it off that way i can show you guys you know better you know you really don't need to take this off um to do this job but i took it off just for you guys to be able to see so uh just in case you're wondering why my vehicle looks different or what's you know what's going on that's what i did there but um uh, yeah i'm gonna go ahead now and uh get these two pulleys back on all right i have uh, all brand new shiny parts now i have i have my tensioner pulley in i have my idler pulley in and i have the pulley for my water pump so they're all brand new um now i'm going to actually go ahead and put in my tensioner normally i wouldn't put it on without the belt but as we covered earlier the fact that we have a pin in this one i'm going to go ahead and put it on because i should be able to get the belt on with that pin in there so i'm going to go ahead and put that put that on right now the uh the new tensioner all right i have my my new tensioner in uh, let's see if i can get some light in there i have my new tensioner in right there uh you can see the pin is still in there so it has a lot of slack on it when i go to put my timing belt back in if i need more slack what I'll do is I'll remove the top bolt and it will just easily pivot. So I just like having it in place and uh, knowing where it is. And so I'm going to go ahead now and work on transferring the uh, timing marks from the old belt to the new belt. <laughs> 